So you already reached level 10. What do you do next after you reach level 10? Well, now you can finally play ranked mode. Yes, you can finally play ranked mode after you already achieved level 10 or higher. So once you go ahead and grind in Turf War, you can finally play ranked, which is level 10 or higher. Now, just like all my other Splatoon videos, unfortunately, I can't give you any in-game audio or even any sound effects. That's just the way it is. I do apologize for that, but there's nothing I can really do. Now also, if you want to know the basics of Splatoon, I actually have a video up on my channel for that. Also, don't forget, I will be making a playlist on my channel for everything Splatoon related, and I will be making one, of course, for everything multiplayer related as well. So there's going to be playlists on my channel, and there's also going to be lots more videos for Splatoon. And uh, I'm going to be showcasing all the different ranked modes you can play in Splatoon 2. Now, once you reach level 10 or higher, ranked mode does become available. As you can see on screen... Right now, at this very moment, Rainmaker is uh, currently available. Just like regular battle, how I said uh, all the different maps uh, do rotate every two hours. Well, just like uh, the regular battles, ranked battle actually uh, rotates every two hours. So every two hours, you get two different maps to play, and you do get a different mode to play. So you're not always playing Rainmaker. So in this video, I'm going to be showcasing Rainmaker. But there's Rainmaker, Tower Defense, and Splat Zones currently available for Ranked Battle. And we're going to be starting off with Rainmaker. And before I go into a match of Rainmaker, I'm going to be showing you what kind of setups you can do to actually utilize Ranked Battle. Ranked Battle is re really where you go if you want to uh, become competitive with Splatoon. If you're still on the fence and you really don't want to try it out, or maybe you're not that good and you don't want to take it too serious, of course, that's why there's always Turf War, which I've already done a video up on my channel again it's on my channel go ahead and check that out but there it is here's ranked battle we're going to jump into some uh, rainmaker really quick right after i explain what you should be using for these uh, different game modes anyway without further ado let's start the video so as you can see we're back once again with the whole uh, customization you got your weapons and your clothing now when it comes to ranked of course if you're not aware you probably want to play ranked a little bit differently uh, than your regular tur turf war now depending on which ranked mode you're playing you're gonna have to play them a little bit different since in this video we're playing rainmaker uh it really it really depends on your play style and really what suits you best do you really need to go and utilize it no you don't really need to utilize uh, a certain weapon type a certain uh special a certain sub weapon things like that are uh, different abilities whatever works for you works for you i've seen people online actually use some stuff i thought would never actually work in ranked and they're killing it online when it comes to the ranked mode but usually when i play ranked mode i do like playing a little bit differently than i would normally play turf war like for instance if we go to the clothing right here for a lot of the times when i'm playing turf war i'm using a lot of the uh this one right here which is uh, ink recovery up increases ink tank refill rate so I'm getting more ink when I go down and then on the, the, the closings of course sometimes I'm using this in turf war where is it uh, ink saver decreases amount of ink consumed by your main weapon so of course I would use that in turf war because it's really useful so you don't have to go back under the ink and grab more ink you can keep inking as long as you want because obviously in turf war the main purpose of turf war is to see how how much of the turf you can actually ink so you want to stay inking as much as possible you're wasting time when you're trying to go get ink but now since we're playing ranked ranked is not just about actually getting the most turf and the most area covered you're actually having an objective they're objective modes that's what ranked is you're playing objective modes now i'm going to go ahead before i talk about some stuff you can do on here i'm going to kind of explain what rainmaker is so rainmaker is essentially a uh, splatoon's version of capture the flag but instead of having two flags, you only have one flag, which is the Rainmaker. It's in the middle of the map, and you got to splat it. And once you splat it enough times with your uh, team's color, then you will unlock it, and then you can grab it, and you have to take it to the other team's base. And uh, the cool thing about the Rainmaker is it actually shoots ink out of it, so you can use it as a weapon, and you just want to bring it back to your other team's base, so your enemy's base. Once you do that, you instantly win the match. Or if you uh, go f a farther distance... Uh, when the time runs out if you still if both teams have not brought it back to the opposite team's base when the time runs out whoever has traveled the farthest distance actually will win the match now for a t uh, rainmaker it's kind of hard to say what i like to use of course i would say if you have a 
a charger like a sniper on here those might be pretty useful rollers are always a good option just to uh, get people off guard really when it comes to rainmaker it's really hard to go wrong with almost anything but for me personally uh, honestly usually when i play splatoon i pretty much mostly focus on the sub the uh the special excuse me i mostly focus on the special it really just depends on how you play so when i'm playing a lot of these ranked modes i usually like to go for it in splatoon 2 i usually like going for the uh the inkjet because i can go uh fly around the map when i get inkjet and i can go under and while my team's going for the rainmaker i can protect them from the sky and then i can kill anyone that's trying to get in their way so that's what i'm usually looking for at least in rainmaker and even in the other uh objective modes in uh splatoon or the ranked modes so right now i think the curling bomb is actually a really good bomb as well it's a hockey puck that bounces off the of walls that's really useful I wouldn't say it's too too useful in Rainmaker because a lot of times in Rainmaker people are going under the ink and there's a lot of people guarding uh, them so it's not that useful but I really do like Inkjet. Another good one for a lot of these ones would be uh, Tensa Missiles and uh, I know I'm talking a lot about the specials but that's what I primarily base my setup on. I primarily base my setup on the specials. That's just how I do it. I think I'm going to go ahead and go with the Imperious Splat Dualies because it ha does have the... Uh, a curling bomb and it does have the inkjet I could indeed go for uh, the tent the uh, a ten tentatech splatter shot or ten yeah tentatech splatter shot I could go for that as well but I'm really feeling the splat dualies and of course the splat dualies have one advantage or uh, yeah any of the splat dualies have an advantage over the regular guns just because you can actually roll when you use this weapon so it's gonna be very useful to roll around and not have to worry about people killing you as easily so I'm gonna go ahead and go with that now for these modes I would yeah probably the same thing I normally do what you could do is you could actually use a uh, one speed up is great right here for this Opening Gambit, eh, no, not for this. Not really too useful in my opinion. Like I said, whatever works best for you works best for you, but for me, it really doesn't. One thing I would say that really works well in uh, some of these objective modes would be... I'm trying to go find them. Like uh, For me, I would use Special Power Up just to get my Special much more powerful, but one of them, I'm trying to go find them. I don't think I even have any of, of them. Oh yeah, the ones that make you respawn faster. Which, I don't have any current weapons that make you... Oh yeah, quick respawn, there you go. Reduce respawn time after getting splatted repeatedly without splatting any opponents. There you go. I think they have a regular one as well. This one's a little bit more not useful because you're most likely going to splat some people before before you die. So that's not really too useful unless you really suck at Splatoon or Splatoon 2. I wouldn't use that because, let's be honest, you're you're not most people aren't that bad. You can get a couple of kills, so that's not really useful, but I think there's a regular one from Splatoon 1. There may not be in this game, but I think there is. But yeah, respawning time faster delay would be really nice. Also squid jumping would be a really nice ability for this just because well, you want to try to get to the rainmaker as fast as possible. Actually, I'm not really 100% sure if you can actually squid jump to your teammate that has the Rainmaker if they're holding it. I'm not too sure about that at all. But those are just some setup ideas. And then, of course, increased sub-weapon proficiency. Probably not the greatest. I really don't really need to use a uh, special power up. Probably not too, too useful here. But like I said, again, just, make, just find some setups that work for you. And whatever works for you, works for you. I think right now I'm actually going to go ahead and do my special up. Because I'm always about that special uh let's see what i could do i could do a special and then two uh power uh special ups or special power ups excuse me to get my special much more uh much more stronger when i activate it or what i could do is do two uh special charge ups i could do all three special charge up but i think this is my setup right here i'm gonna do a special charge up and then two uh special power ups for me personally and since i don't really have another respond i can't use the respond i only have a double respond but that double respond won't work because i'm not that bad at the game i actually get kills so that won't be too useful for me at all and then i'm gonna go with the imperial spider shot just because it has a uh, inkjet. I could go with the Tentatech uh, splatter shot, but I'm gonna go with this just because it has the uh, rolling ability. The curling bomb, I would say, for Rainmaker is not that useful uh, again. But anyway, now I'm gonna go ahead and start a match and show you a little bit of Rainmaker. Anyway, guys, without further ado, I'm gonna go ahead and start Rainmaker. 
Okay, now Rainmaker has officially started. Now, when you play these ranked modes, you will be ranked from C- all the way up to S+. S+, is the most you can get in the game, and it's very hard to get S+. Now, I'm just going to go ahead and uh, ink a little bit of turf so I can try to get my special up. Now, of course, the main point of Rainmaker is not to get the, the most turf inked, so I'm kind of like wasting time here. Now, when you see my gameplay, actually, I'm not going to go for the Rainmaker. Why am I not going to go for the Rainmaker? Well, because... For me, I can't hold it that long, so what I'm going to do is try to protect my teammates. Now, if you're a good player and you can actually hold on to the Rainmaker, then go ahead and grab that bad boy and try to go ahead and uh, take it to the other team's base. But for me, I just can't hold it that long. I'm not good with maneuverability. I'm not good at using it, so I'm not going to use it. I'm just going to try to protect my team as much as possible. Again, I'm going to try to keep inking so I can get my special up as fast as possible because the inkjet will allow me to get coverage from the air. As you can see, somebody uh, targeted me right there with the 10 attack, mi 10 attack missiles. Now I got my special, and now I'm going to try to uh, protect my teammate. I will go ahead and try to shoot the Rainmaker so the Rainmaker becomes uh, unlocked for our team. You do have to shoot it all the way and make it pop before you can actually grab it. Now I'm going to go ahead into the air and try to stop this guy. I should be able to get this person. Yep, I was able to get this guy easily. He was just standing there. I will keep on inking it so it'll pop. There you go. Our team grabs it. And there's some other people coming. I'm going to try to roll out the way so that those people don't get me. I'm going to splat that guy. So far, so good. And when you watch my gameplays, I'm not the best at uh, these uh, ranked modes. But I'm trying to uh, hold my own. I'm actually going to go right now and go around. Uh, around, And I'm going to try to stay behind him. Because if you didn't know, the Rainmaker is actually pretty powerful. I would say if you're trying to... Uh, uh, if you're trying to uh, escort your teammate, I would actually say stay behind him because the Rainmaker is kind of powerful. But then again, it really just depends. If you are if you have a lot of guts, then you can go in front of them and try to protect them. But for me, I usually stay back. And plus, it leaves me uh, less vulnerable since I'm behind the guy who's carrying the Rainmaker. And as you can see on top of the screen, you got remaining uh, distance. So our team is winning 58 uh well, not anymore, but it was 58 to like 60-something. But now it's 58 to uh, 58. It's a tie game right here. As you can see, the other team got it. And it's vi Dang it, I got splatted. But it's very easy to see where the Rainmaker is. There's some indicators on screen to tell you where the Rainmaker is actually. And let me go ahead and uh, squid jump out of here. When it comes to these objective modes, you really want to be using the squid jump as much as possible because time is uh, of the essence. You really want to be trying to get to the objective as fast as possible. It may not matter so much in Turf War, but in these objective modes, it's really going to matter more. Now I got another uh, inkjet. I'm going to go ahead and uh, not activate it. I was going to say I was going to go ahead and activate it, but that guy with the paintbrush really got me right there. And we have uh, two, about two minutes and nine seconds left of the match right here. I need to go ahead and... Wow, all of our team... No, there's one guy still alive, so I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, jump to him I'm gonna go ahead and throw a bomb out too or uh one of those curling bombs okay this guy has an ink brush so I think I'm gonna actually stay back here oh dang I'm out of ink but I'm gonna go ahead and try to uh pop it right now so uh, our team can go ahead and get it go ahead and get it usually I will end up getting the rainmaker if, if in about five seconds if nobody on our team grabs it even after I pop it or unlock it for our team but 99% of the time, at least on Rainmaker, for me, I don't actually go for the Rainmaker. I just let one of my other teammates pick it up. Oh, and I died right there. It looks like they have the Rainmaker. Let me go ahead and jump to one of our uh, teammates again. Actually, this is a very close match right now. I can either go either way. I'm just going to try to ink some up because I almost got the inkjet. I think... Okay, there's nobody around me. I'm going to have to activate my inkjet right now because they do have the Rainmaker. And there you go. I splatted somebody right now. Woo! I got that triple, though. Rest in peace, headphone users, though. I kind of screamed right there, but wow. Inkjet really comes in handy, though. Okay, I'm going to try to escort and throw a, a curling bomb out. Hopes that the curling bomb gets somebody. Okay. And I will have to say that some of the ink brushes actually have a pretty good range because I was pretty far back and I was not, so I was kind of surprised that he actually inked me right there. Okay. We're, oh, wow, it spawned me really away from the uh, Rainmaker. Okay. I'm just going to go ahead and shoot it again to make it our color. If nobody grabs it, I am going to be forced to grab it. Nope. Okay. 
Oh, I'm gonna have to ink, ink jump. Nope. I'm gonna throw out a curling bombs to try to uh, stop them from actually shooting our rainmaker. And the more teammates who shoot your ra ra the rainmaker, the faster it'll unlock for the team. And it looks like I think right there we actually lost the match right there. Yeah, we actually lost, but it wasn't a blowout or KO, an instant KO, or anything crazy. We actually did pretty good. Now, I'm going to go ahead and play one more match on on uh, video so you can kind of get the general gist of uh, Rainmaker. And you can see when you lose, you do go down in rank. And you do start out at a C- minus and you go all the way up to S+. Plus. Now, I'm going to go ahead and continue on to another match. See you of another start of another Rainmaker match. Okay, we're back for another match of Rainmaker. Now, I'm just sticking with my same uh, combo. I'm using one of the... Uh, I can't remember splat dualies and I'm still using the inkjet because for me this is what works and I'm mm, I was doing pretty good last match so let's see if our team can actually win this one again I'm gonna stay back and try to support my team as much as possible and I'm gonna try to as fast as I can get my uh, special up just so that uh, I'll have it ready when our team actually gets it or if the other team gets the rainmaker I'll be able to pop them looks like there's a lot of action down there I'm gonna stay on the never mind I was gonna say I'm gonna stay on the high ground but there's a guy right there that came up. He knew I was up there, and I activated my uh, inkjet, but it was a little bit too late for that. But that's okay. What I should have done, actually, I should have just swam away and ran away, and then I wouldn't have died, and I still would have had my inkjet to save, but oh well. Not really the smartest play right there, I do have to admit. But as you can see, we're just taking it on the low ground right here, trying to go around. Some of these maps are actually uh, really small maps. So it's not too hard to get an instant KO. If you don't know what an instant KO is in rank, an instant KO is when you when you take like the Rainmaker and you take it all the way to your uh, opponent's uh, base like instantly, like in about a couple of seconds, which is possible. And it happens actually a lot of times. Okay, this guy's not paying attention at all. I'm going to get a free kill right there. I splatted that guy. You might think I'm wasting time just inking the place, but like I said again, I'm just trying to get my special up so I can have it for uh, protection and to help out my team. Like right now, I'm going to go ahead and go to the sky and try to uh, stop these guys from uh, getting the Rainmaker. And I'm, then I'm going to shoot the Rainmaker so I can uh, pop it. Whoop, got a couple of kills there, helping out my team. I think we pretty much got this in the bag right now. This is a pretty good match. Okay, I would be okay with the trading kills. Right there, you've seen we both died. I killed him and he killed me. But it's better than me dying and not killing anybody, so I'll take the trade. And it looks like it was an instant win for our team. We pretty much blew them out. This team didn't know what was happening at all. This was a KO. This was a fast victory. And anyway, guys, that's Rainmaker on Splatoon 2 Ranked Modes. Anyway, guys, peace out. I'll see you guys later in my next video. Don't forget to stay tuned to My Tech News for all the latest and greatest Nintendo news, tech news, video game news, and more things for Splatoon and don't forget I do have playlists on my channel for Splatoon. I also showcase the basics if you're new to Splatoon and things like that but stay tuned to my tech news. Anyway guys peace out I'll see you guys later in my next video. I'm out guys.